I'm still trying to figure out where to start with this thing. Dear, did you pee on my set? Seriously, Scotty? Makes it look like it's glow in the dark. Wait, is it glow in the dark? No, it's not glow in the dark. More energy, more energy, here we go, here we go, ready, ready, ready. All right, you guys, welcome back to Pick Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty, and a lot of you have actually been asking me about this, which has been sitting in a bunch of my videos, just waiting to be reviewed. A lot of you have been seeing it in videos here and there and asking, what is this, what is it? I'm kind of lost about how I feel about the set, because when I see it on the monitor there, on that, on that camera there, it actually looks pretty okay. In person, I almost feel ashamed that it's around me. Okay, it's not that bad. If it was really that bad, I would have stripped it down and just made sure it never existed or you guys never knew about the set. You know, it has some good points and it has some bad points. A few months ago, I did the unboxing for this and a lot of you told me that Bam Bao has actually been around for a while. So I think that's actually pretty cool. It's another brick brand, another one for you guys. And if you haven't seen the Snoopy one, they actually did the Snoopy set and I was actually pretty happy with that. This on the other hand, well, let me just show it to you and you can figure it out yourself if you like it or not. I was just like, yes. An original modular building. I can't wait to build it. And I put it together. And man, I think it's just the color thing, you know? If they use a different colored brick, maybe I would have liked it a little bit more. Well, it does kind of look like someone peed all over it and it's dried off. But if you look behind me, there's no other set that even comes close to the outstanding color of this. And maybe that was it. But you know, let's jump right into it. Here we go. So this is Banbao's Romantic Home 8368, 1,100 pieces. So what do I think of this set? Right off the bat, I can tell you it has really good value. Why? Because actually it's a three-in-one. So this is the largest one out of the booklet that I chose. This is here and the manual. You can see that right there. That's the biggest set. There's two more other ones you can build. This is the other set that you can build, which might be a little bit better because this looks more homely. And here's the third one here. Yeah, there you go. Pause the video and take a look at that right there. And to be honest, they actually look pretty okay. It's not fully tiled on the bottom. There's some gaps there. You might want to fill those in with your leftover pieces. And again, I have to mention, they're slightly differ from Lego pieces. I'll show you an example to see if they're compatible with each other. The tiles here, the ones with no studs, they have a printing of the Banbao logo on it. That might annoy you or might not. Or if you have OCD, you got to make sure you flip them all the right direction in the right way if you want it to look clean and nice. But from a distance, like from there, you probably can't even see it. From the close-up, it's certainly visible. I don't know if I like that or not. So first thing here is the lamppost. It goes up and down. I guess you can kind of adjust it the way you like it. You want it that high? You want it this high? And I'm not quite sure what I think about the lamppost color here. So on the bottom here, it's just windows. There's no doors. So it's kind of like a basement thing back there, but it's not really to scale to the minifigures or even the figures that come with the set. It just doesn't make sense, but it still looks cool. I like the staircase. It can close in if you want to. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but you gotta be careful. When you push it in, it's gonna get stuck. You have to put your finger through this little tiny window and then just move them back out. And down here, you got this big massive door that's more scaled to the figures that come with the set. They're not mini figures, by the way. They're actually called Tobies. They're really weird. But anyway, we'll get to those in a bit. So on the open area here on the side, there's like two flowers, this little railing. There's nothing here. It's just emptiness. You can fill that in with yourself later with whatever you want. And a little dining area. I don't like the color of the chair. I'm sorry, it's like a really weird orange. The table is just like a plasticky looking table. Would have been more cool if it was like brick style. It looks like they're just using a flat plastic piece there. And then opposite of that room, underneath that little staircase that you saw earlier, it's just like a storage room, some weird pillows. I guess those are like that. I don't know what's inside them. You can use your imagination for that. I was thinking it's a storage room, but then there's a little tiny bar there with drinks on it. What kind of secret chamber is this place? Now let's walk up the little staircase and make our way to the first floor. And before I do that, just to let you guys know, for this build, it does split open. Ah, the real question again is, did it need to? It doesn't really open up to do anything. It doesn't reveal anything else except for like this little table area here. I think they could have just kept it one and it would have been perfectly fine. Unless you like a floating staircase here. Let's take a look at the floating staircase while we're at it. I do like the branches design here from Banbao. This is very different from a Lego or other brick brand style. So along here, you got the awning, which is movable up and down. I haven't really seen these pieces. They're more used for like vehicle stuff, but I haven't seen them used as, a, as an awning part. So that's actually kind of cool. Very simple. Again, the fugly orange chairs, not my style. And then you got this blue umbrella. It's just kind of hanging there loose. Simple table, two cups on there. And you have a couple of windows here. And the only way you can access this floor is from the upper floor, but there's no way to get from the upper floor because there's no staircase going downstairs. What's going on? And let's look in this room here. This is the living room, the first floor where we come in. And this is the cool part. 
uh, is modular, so you can take this off. And even though they have no back here, no walls on the back, you didn't really have to do that. It could have been totally sealed off because it wouldn't have made a difference. You can still reach in there. But anyway, okay, let's look at this living room. So we open the door here. Which way does the door open? Oh, the door is really tight to open and close. Well, I'm just noticing that now. So at least it's very tight. And it does have another long awning up here. It's the color thing again. It's like this crazy yellow, and all of a sudden you got white and blue. And the windows look really fogged out. And they're kind of scratched up too. These things do get scratched up. Sorry, if you've been ordering for me and telling me windows are scratchy, that's just what happens with these sets. They just look dirty. It looks like a dirty home. That's what it is. A dirty looking home. You come in here, oh, ugh, it's the color underneath the TV and the telephone. It's that yellow color. What are they trying to do? Now, I do like how they use these Technic style pieces as the speakers here for the TV. And the TV is huge. Look at the big TV on that thing. And I have a sticker of one of their other sets. Now, this is interesting. Banbao totally has different themes. They do have more modular homes. They're not in this color. So if you comment, like, and subscribe, and you want me to really get those other sets, let me know in the comments. I may just go out and buy it for you guys to review it if you're enjoying this one. So do let me know, please. They have a lot, man. They have a lot of stuff out there. So do check those out too. I don't know if you guys want to see more of this on BreakMeUpScotty.com, but some of you have actually bought this set and I feel sorry for you. But I'm just kidding, man. Look, I bought this for myself, all right? Moving on, simple table again. It's the same patio table, different color in the living room. Now the two sofas inside, they actually look kind of to scale the minifigures. This room actually looks pretty okay. We'll put some figures in here in a bit and let you guys take a look. And you got a little night lamp there. Uh, and it's that green color again. Why you put the green color of this lamp here? Bam bow. it just doesn't go with the yellow. So move this out of the way, go to this one. Let's take a look at it. I'm gonna take this off here. Oops, and put this here. There you go. The only reason why this is my favorite floor is because of this thing here. Design-wise, I thought that was actually pretty cool. They use these chains as like a thing to dangle down, like a curtain type thing. You know, it's so retro looking. It's good inspiration for you guys that are doing your own style and your own mocks. That's actually pretty cool. I like that. Let's look on the inside. Look at that. That lamp again, the green. Get out of here, green. And you got a bed here. It's like one piece of bed. I think it's the optics that's actually bugging me more too. It's like the yellow color of the house, the optics that kind of bug me because they're not like pieces put together. They're just like solid pieces that you that are built. And I would have preferred like to make my own bed and have a little brick plant here. But no, we have this thing that looks like a corn on the cob as a coat hanger. And you got a plant here that just looks bizarre. At least you got a small balcony here though with black railings there. They could have done a little bit more I think with the bedroom. And there's an upper balcony that's connected to this floor that should be connected to the top floor. But you know, that's just the way Banbao does it. The awning here again, is repeated just like the other one, but this one has an extra piece on here. And then finally we go to the very top, very top floor. Here we go. I don't know what is going on on the very top floor. And there's no way to get to it by the way. There's no case staircase that goes up to it. I know, it's just a toy. Use your imagination. These Tobies can like magically teleport from one room to another. But you know, it'd be nice to like be able to walk up there. You got more printing on the windows here and you got the sliding door. As you can see, the sliding door does work. It is very tight though. So you just gotta be rough with this set. Have to admit, band bell sets have been solid so far. The clutch is super, super tight. And that is because the studs stick out a little bit more than your typical brick set. So it is slightly different. So you can commend them for doing that and not ripping off the other brand or you just be like, this sucks because it's not the other brand. But hey, I still think it's okay. Got this very tiny thin gap here to a little small balcony here. I thought this was a shop at first. I'm like, what are they selling? And then I realized, oh, that's supposed to be a piano. That is the saddest looking piano I've ever seen, but that's okay. At least they put a piano in there with a little clock on the top and that it's just the object thing. Again, the clock just doesn't look like it belongs or fits in there. More foggy windows. Now, there you go. That's the inside of that floor. Nothing happening here on the balcony, but those green tiles again, what this golden dark looking thing. They just don't fit with this to me. And you got to find the other rooftop here and you can probably make your own little thing here or add on to it and do that kind of thing. And you got this weird crest symbol thing. I don't know, did I put this thing upside down? Oh no, it's the right way up. Interesting, interesting design. Not quite sure what that is, but there it is. That's the Banbao home. We can put these all back together. Look, you can put the rooftop right here and look, make it even smaller. Done, finished. Now let's talk about the accessories and the stuff that the set does come with. It comes with this car that y'all saw in the last video. If you haven't, it's over here. Hmm, what do I think of it? Eh, it looks like it really came out from the 80s. Nothing wrong with that, but it looks very, very old school to me. There's no doors to open up. The Tobies do not fit in this car. You had to kind of pry them in half to put them in. 
and this is, looks like it's more for minifigure scale, but it's just a very, 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 very simple build. Nothing to go home and talk about. Solid though, look at that. Not gonna go anywhere or do anything. And now it's time to look at the Tobies. They all look like kids, by the way. They don't look like adults at all. You've seen the Snoopy one, you've seen how they put together, but this is just what they look like to all Banbell sets. So just so you know, totally different from your typical minifigure. You got this guy in a green sweater. He's happy. Hair is okay. Printing is, it's just a color thing. I don't know if I like it. Short legs, very, very short legs. And the next one, another kid here. He's wearing white. He's like more of a hip hop looking glam type boy. Printing is fine again on the faces and on the shirt. The girls, ladies. You got this girl who has her flower bucket. She's gonna be gardening the house. And the colors just look kind of wrong. The hair, the top and the pants, the printing and the eyes. The eyes look pretty, but that's all I can say about her. You got the next girl, the black hair, little ponytail. She looks like she's wearing a school uniform. Printing looks a little bit off on that, like not perfect. And just the color thing again, same. It's like red with the pink bottom and that's the same as the next girl's bright pink top with a purple bottom printing is better on this one not all scratched up or anything face looks fine and she has like these weird princess leia things going on on the side now i got the accessories there's a lot of accessories and there's a lot of stuff that doesn't even show in the manual that they have first of all what is that don't say it i'm just gonna let you look at it i don't know what it's supposed to be i don't know what it's supposed to do but i think i have an idea i think it's like a beach for real because it comes with these palm trees that like I said, they're not even in the booklet. And you can put this on here, put this one on here. This is like a bonus. Bam Bam just threw this in for free. Look at that. I have to say the palm tree does look kind of cool though, the, the tree part. That's a nice element. You got all these accessories. I'm gonna drag them out right now. Lampshades. I think these are lampshades. I don't even know what these are. You got this thing. What is the heck? kind of flower or thing is that? Like I said, it's not in the manual. I don't know when I'm gonna use those. Got some plates here, purses, blow dryer. Oh, look, you can actually put the blow dryer together. I did not know that. Another clock, you got some, looks like a mirror, brush and comb, more telephones, purse, two purses, more combs, more clocks, extra feet. So tons of accessories. It's dimension time. Here's my 32 by 32 base plate. Let's take a look at the width of this, and we're looking at about, or we are looking at exactly 24 studs by width. By length, it is a perfect 32. Of course, that means when you split it here, it's gonna be 16, 16 there. Here is my height brick ruler by brick. You're looking at about, well, from this point here, it's just like 38 and a half. Yeah, I put 39 bricks there, but you get an idea. At least you know that is the height of this set. Of course, for the other two builds, they're gonna be a lot smaller, but you know, I'll leave that up to you if you decide to buy the set. So there it is, you guys. Ban Bao's Romantic Home. What do I think? I think if they changed the yellow, they made more of the objects inside buildable, and they made the piano actually look like a piano. It's actually pretty okay, not that bad. All right, you guys, that's it for today. Until next time, I don't know how to pick myself out in this one. Deer, have some corn. Mm, yum, 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 yum. This thing almost looks like a nipple, man. Okay, you guys, here we are. See, I told you, look at all the greens for you to eat. Deer, you happy now? Man, I'm getting sick from eating that curry and riding on this thing. Ooh, ooh, it's curry. Look, yay, I gotta eat. All right, you guys, you enjoy your stay. I'm gonna go pick up some more, guys. I'll be back soon. Bye-bye now. Beep, beep. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying that because I'm looking at this thing going, what the heck is this thing? Dear, try eating this thing because I have no idea what it is either. What the hell is that? Get that thing away from me. I don't want to eat it. That looks disgusting. What about you guys, huh? You guys want to try eating this? Because I have no idea what it is. It looks like it's skin color. It looks absolutely gross. Uh, Scotty, speaking of skin color, you better come take a look at this. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't even know what that is. That's supposed to be like a sand castle or something. But uh, maybe we should just go. Check out this plate behind it. It looks kind of nice. But before we do, we need to see a stud comparison. Dear, I need to reach into your back again and pull out a Lego piece so we can compare this to Legos and see if it's compatible. All right, Scotty, my favorite part. Wait, how do you fit all these things in there? Scotty, I can do whatever I want. Oh, wow, it is compatible with Lego. 
Yeah, that's kind of surprising. It does fit. Interesting. Aha. However, the tile piece does stick out a little bit. There's a tiny small gap on the bottom there. See it, dear? Oh, yeah. That's not working. I see that little gap you're talking about there. Oh, well. It was almost there. It is a little bit bigger than Lego. Okay, enough of that, dear. Let's go check out this place. Let's see what's inside. Hello. Anybody home? Hey, dear. This sofa is actually pretty comfortable. I can get used to this. Yeah, me too. It's not bad, huh? It's kind of like the same thing on the TV. It's getting really boring here. Yeah, I know. I'm going to fall asleep on the couch. Let's go see what else is in this house. Ah, oh, dear. I think I'm going to take a nap. Yeah, I found a piano. Let me play a little something for you. Mama, just kill the man. Put a gun against his head. Put my trigger now he's dead. Mama, life has just begun. Help us. Dear, did you hear that? Yes, Scotty. What was that? That's kind of scary. Dude, we didn't check downstairs, man. Scotty, I don't want to go down there. Please. We got to go help whoever's down there, man. They're asking for help. Help us. Dear, we're getting really close. There's somewhere around here. Scotty, I don't like this at all. Please, I want to get out of here. Dear, it's coming from down there. Ah, what is this? Oh no, it's a bunch of minifigures. Then they're all apart. What happened? You found us. You can't help us anymore. The Tobies are melting us into these weird looking plant things. And I don't know what they're using us for. Get out while you can. I can hear them coming back. Beep beep, I got more friends to come to see you guys. We're coming back now. Scotty, Scotty, what do we do? We gotta get out of here. Just run. Dear, keep running, keep running. Hey, where do you think you're going? You can't pass us, Tobies. You belong to us. Why did you bring us here? Because we need more PP color bricks, and we need to melt you down and turn you into more so we can build our empire. Scotty, pick up that weird thing and throw it at him! Alright. Ouch! Dear, now's your chance to ride through them. Let's go! Hiya! 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 Get the car, let's go! Okay, Scotty! We're gonna come back here and rescue those beanie figures. See you later, suckers! Guys, did you hear that? I think we're safe, man. They got out of here. They're gonna come back and save us. We still have a chance to live again.